Okay, so to start off, I am going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this foundation, the texture of it feels very jelly-like and it seriously feels like Vaseline. But once you blend it into your skin, it feels like you have nothing on at all. Next, you want to make sure that your lips are moisturized. And here I am going in with my EOS Chapstick and this one smells like citrus. To conceal, I will be going in with my e.l.f. concealer brush and dipping that into my NYX concealer. This one is absolutely amazing and I always use it. So there is no special way to apply this concealer or anything. All I'm doing is just brushing it on and making sure that it really blends into my eyes because I really want to make sure that the circles disappear. So to finish it off, I am just using the warmth of my ring fingers to kind of just blend out the colors and make sure that um, it matches my skin tone. For foundation, I will be going in with my MAC Match Master Foundation. I just purchased this and I am loving it so far. It doesn't make me oily or anything and I haven't broken out from it yet. To highlight my face, I will be going in with my Glamouflage Light Bright Concealer Stick. All you have to do to get the product out is twist it up and this one is really easy to work with. Make triangular forms around your under eye area and bring that to the bridge of your nose as well as your chin and Cupid's bow. I'm not too sure why the camera cut out the contouring part but all I used was my Maybelline Foundation Stick and I already have a tutorial of that up on my channel. I am now just taking my MAC Prep and Prime and highlighting the under cheek area. You can use that Glamouflash concealer stick, but I just feel like um, the MAC Prep and Prime isn't as thick, so it's really easy to blend with the contour color. To blend out my highlight and contour color, I will be taking my Morph brush, and this is just a mini version of a stippling brush, and I'll just be going in circular motion, starting off with a darker color first and working my way in. For my under eyes, I will be going in with that same e.l.f. concealer brush and just blending everything out. So to set my entire face, I will be going in with my Sigma Large Powder Brush and dipping that into my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Powder. This powder works amazing because um, you can use it for any color foundation. As always, I will be priming my eyes with my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. So for today's eye look, I will be going in with my Lorac Pro 2 palette. And I will be starting off by using the color Nectar to blend in my crease as my transition color. Next, I will be going into the color Cool Gray with the fluffy brush to intensify my crease. To blend the two colors together, I will be going in with my blending brush from Sigma and this will just help to get rid of all of the harsh lines and edges. Here I am just using a little small blending brush to blend the color charcoal into my outer V area. To create a cut crease look, take any small flat shader brush and go into a deep purple color. Here I am using the color Plum once again and I will just be kind of lining my eyes as I would with eyeliner but on the top of my crease. 
To blend that color out, take a large flat shader brush and just go over the color. To blend out the entire eye look, I'll be going into the color Nectar with my Morph Stiff Blending Brush to really just blend out all of the colors. To create a very clean cut crease line, I'll be using my Flat Concealer Brush and NYX Concealer to just conceal all of the fallout. Once you have finished concealing, take any matte white color and go over that with the flat shader brush. Now just carefully line your eyes and here I am using the NYC liquid liner. This one is a little hard for me to control, that's why I keep going on and off camera so I apologize for that. Now mix the black and charcoal color together to smudge it out onto your bottom waterline area to create that smoky effect. So to finish off my entire makeup look, I will be applying my Coco Lashes in Goddess and these lashes are gorgeous. I didn't feel that there was a need to record it on camera so that's why I left that part out. But yes, this is the look and I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And um, If you have any requests, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!